Hi, I guess many of you watch Dr. Stone because A. You like science or B. It made you like it. The problem is that Stone doesn't tell us how every single invention works, never mind the science behind it. So I'm here to explain and make you understand some stuff. Today we'll start with something very easy like Pulley. Thanks to Pulley, Senku was able to lift the fallen tree, though he's a witty person. The most important thing here is the moment of force or just torque. The formula for torque is M equals R times F, where M is the moment of force, R is the arm of force and F is the force. Instead of M, sometimes the Greek letter tau is used. Oh, and this cross between R and F, it's not the typical multiplication sign, but it means that we are counting the cross product, so we are multiplying R by F and by the sign of the angle between arm and the force. But we will skip it over, because in every example here, but not in every at all, the angle is 90 degrees, which means the sign is actually 1, so we don't have to worry about it. You may wonder what's the x or dot here. The result of cross product is also a vector, but in third dimension, so to denote the direction of this vector, we use these signs. That means that the vector is pointing in our direction, but the cross tells us the vector is aimed at the opposite one. To remember it better, you can think about the arrow. When it's aimed towards you, you see the dot, but when you shoot an arrow, you see the fletching, so actually the X. What the moment of force really is? Well, you can think about it as an equivalent of normal force, but when object is spinning. Remember the first Newton's law of motion? It says that when body is free of any forces, or the forces are reducing each other, then body is moving with constant velocity, or it doesn't move. So analogously, when body is free of any torques, it spins with constant angular velocity. So the body curves the same angle in the same period of time, or it doesn't spin at all. Don't worry, we are getting closer to the pulley. I bet you once swung with your parent on a seesaw. It was possible because he was sitting closer to the center, or the axis. And, well, basically, that's exactly how moment of force works. Greater force times smaller arm can be equal to smaller force times longer arm, so you can swing easily. And here we are. Finally, the pulley. Let's look at one in set like this. If you want to keep it in balance, resultant torque must be zero. Then our force must be equal to the weight of the object. However, in set like this, when we want to get the resultant zero, the force we use must be just twice smaller than weight of the object. Pulling the rope up might be a little bit rough, so let's add another one pulley, which will not change anything. And then, if we want to decrease required force, we can combine more pulleys together. And basically, this is how it works. That's all for today, I hope you learned something new. I would appreciate you leaving a comment and joining my Discord server. Goodbye!